Hi everyone, this is MFA Kwashi. The topic of this podcast is Empress Dowager Thuzu's Noble Virtues. It is said that Empress Dowager Thuzu, Fang Thing Ha, self named Nye, is famous for the noble virtues and has since left many valuable lessons in educating her children to become good people, how to manage wealth, and how to use people. As a result, people from the next generation greatly admired her. Due to her upbringing, King Tuzuk became a filial son, not corrupted by a life of luxury like some previous kings, as he obeyed his mother to remove trivial pleasures to cultivate more history. In her daily life, she was very frugal in relation to consumption and strict about waste and luxury. Once the emperor entered the palace and saw the empress things. Among her items, he saw were an old bamboo paper fan, old rice bowls, one of which was cracked, sending a servant to change it. However, the empress refused. In addition, she respected her loyal subjects and wanted to have more people like the honest Fu Song Bing, the straightforward Fa Fu Zhu, and the honest Nyet Tzu Fang, who needed to work tirelessly. Because she wanted the mandarins to share the government with the king and not covet the wealth of the people, which was what she needed most. She has raised a great example of the virtues of Vietnamese women. Due to her good qualities, people chose her name to inspire a maternity hospital, which is Tu Du Hospital in the Ho Chi Minh City. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. Please follow our Ansuvi projects to gain more intriguing knowledge about Vietnamese history. Until next time, it's bye.